friends, it's Annika and welcome to today's video. Today I have a little bit of a different idea for us and I want to try it out. So in this vlog, we are going to be testing out AI's idea of a perfect productive day and I'm going to be doing it and taking you through the entire thing. But obviously we all have our own versions of like our best planned out day that is tailored to us but I wanted to see if there are some tips or habits that I don't know of that maybe a computer generated schedule could tell me about and we will see how it goes for this video. I'm just going to use Notion's AI because that's like the one that I have used. First we should ask like, can you make me the perfect productive schedule? And I'm gonna put comma workout included because I do wanna work out. Let's see, oh my God, oh my gosh. What, this is so detailed, it fully did that in like 0.5 seconds. Okay, here's a suggested schedule for a productive day including a workout. 6 a.m. wake up and do a 10 minute meditation. If you guys watch my morning routine, you know how I feel about waking up and doing a meditation. Basically, I hate it. I just fall back asleep. 6.15, work out for 45 minutes. That's quick. So am I supposed to be working out by 6.15? Cause that's like really quick turnaround for me. 7 a.m. shower and get dressed. Okay, this is a very quick routine. 7.30, have a healthy breakfast. 8 a.m., start work on the most important task of the day. 10 a.m., take a 10 minute break and go for a walk. 2 p.m., work on secondary tasks. I feel like that's a good layout. 6 p.m., finish work for the day. 6.30, have dinner. 7, basically relax. I'm gonna ask it one more time without workout included. Can you make the perfect productive schedule? Oh my god, it got worse. 5 a.m. Girl, I cannot work out at 5.15. That's absolutely not gonna happen. 6.30, have a healthy breakfast. That's literally eating in the middle of the night for me. So I will combine these tonight and then tomorrow I'll show it to you guys and we will follow that schedule. What healthy breakfast should I have? Oh wow, so many options. Greek yogurt with berries and granola, perfect. I have that. Uh, what workout? should I do for a productive day? Both cardio and strength training. What healthy lunch should I have? Quinoa salad with avocado tomatoes and grilled shrimp. Okay, why does that sound so bomb? So AI is gonna be our little companion for tomorrow deciding what we do. And it seems like I'm gonna have a very early morning, which I know is satisfying for you guys to watch. schedule it's basically a combination of everything ai told me i should do i have to get ready for workout and then go down and work out and be done by like 7 25. before i drink this i have to finish this bcaa's okay my feedback from 10 minute morning meditation right when you wake up as our friend Notion AI suggested is bad idea for me. I think I was just like in and out of consciousness trying to listen. Okay, so I tried explaining this, but I was like half asleep. Basically, I made myself a schedule. I'll put it on the screen. And it's like a hybrid of the two perfect productive schedules that AI gave us. Everything's in the same order as what AI wants me to do. The only thing that's different is that I put like more time in between each timestamp because it was giving me like 30 minutes to shower and get dressed and like there's just no way. So I just like adjusted the timestamps to be more to what I know is realistic for me. We have so much. <laughs> Put it to the test and see if it's actually the perfect productive day. So far it failed the meditation test in my opinion because I think meditating right when you wake up is just like not it for me. Okay guys, it is upper body day. And because I love you, 
we're doing this mic'd up. I'm gonna warm up really quick. Our first workout is dumbbell seated shoulder press. Um, four sets of six reps. AI said for the best well-rounded workout, I should do some strength training and cardio. We're gonna do a little bit of both today. Two, four, five, six. I've made a playlist for the gym over the past few months and honestly nothing beats it for me. It just gets me so pumped up. Four, five, six. Okay, next we have dumbbell bent over row. Three sets. I think I'm gonna use 20s. One, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we have dumbbell renegade row, super set with dumbbell push up, 20 reps, and then 10 reps. Oh, I hate these. 16, you want two, one. Straight into a push up, 10, eight. Six, two, ow. Okay guys, it's 7.30. So in order to stay on schedule and fit everything in our day, I have to cut my weights workout short and move straight on to cardio. I'm gonna put a podcast on because I actually noticed that podcasts help me more than music when I'm running because it keeps me at like a steady level of adrenaline. But if you guys have podcast recommendations, please let me know. I seriously need some. I think AI might be onto something by suggesting that I do strength training and cardio, but only allotting like 45 minutes for a weights and cardio workout is absolutely not enough. Oh my God, that self tanning is like not real. Tell me that's not real. So we're definitely gonna be behind schedule, but honestly, I think it kind of has unrealistic expectations for how long things take but I'm still gonna try and do everything that it asks. It's only 8 a.m. It's still like way earlier than like when I do my schedule. So that is definitely a plus. Pause on getting dressed to make some breakfast. It was pretty clear that it said that I need to have healthy meals all day long, at least for breakfast and lunch. I'm assuming that's because it like improves efficiency. One of the suggestions it had for breakfast was a protein smoothie, some blueberries, some strawberries, collagen and vanilla protein. Okay, I'm gonna do a blowout on my hair while I drink my smoothie. And I'm gonna try it with like the curling attachment and rollers because I see some people do it like this. get dressed i'm gonna let these rollers sit for a while but let's do some makeup you guys already know beauty blender skin tint it's the best one Thank you. 
makeup. I just got the coolest PR package from Elwood. So they sent me over a few pieces and it makes a whole outfit. So I'm going to put it on for today. So I already opened this, but it is like this oversized button down, which you guys know. I love a good button down. And then on the side, it has this embroidery where it says Elwood right here. And they sent me this little baby tee. Love that. And their new pants, which are like these really wide leg just like super comfy pants they almost remind me of like cargo pants and then they have this beautiful cream embroidery okay yes yes i'm obsessed okay there's lots to get done today so i better head over to the office first we have to make this bed Okay, obviously sitting down at my desk now. I have my whole little trading station set up. But while I'm here, several things are gonna happen. What I noticed that the AI thing was like laying out is that there's three work blocks and each of them are like two to three hours with a 10 minute break in between. So I asked AI like, what is the best way to plan my day? And it says for maximum productivity, we must identify the most important tasks that need to be completed. So it's saying that you should complete your tasks in the order of importance that they like fall into. And first thing would be trading because you mainly do it in the morning time. So now I'm going to organize the rest of my tasks in my planner based on like priority. And it also says to take regular breaks throughout the day to refresh your mind and avoid burnout, which I guess hence the 10 minute breaks in between each work block which i actually don't do and i'm kind of excited to like try because i feel so exhausted and drained by the end of the day which is not what you want finally at the end of the day you review your progress and plan for the next day this will help you stay organized and focused on your goals so i also asked it like when should i plan my day you know like what is the most efficient way to plan your day and it says to plan your tasks for the day in the morning after you've had a chance to review your schedule and prior prioritize your goals for the day while i sit here and like trade a bit i also have my greek yogurt because this was also recommended for me to eat it's like danimals for adults we have my planner i'll link it down below it's but i'm gonna plan my day by importance <laughs> basically what i've done is besides every task i'll put a little i put a little number one number two or number three just to be able to tell if the task by importance goes in work block one two or three and then here i already scheduled in my blocks the way it told me to which i actually really like it i feel like it fits well underneath the block itself wrote down whatever tasks go in it. So far, so good. The plan looks good. So what I have for work block one that's like pretty urgent is I need to upload my video. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then I also need to post the reel that I had scheduled for today. I like to get all of my like posting or uploading done early. That's always like priority for me when it comes to social media work. just went live so go watch it if you haven't but i also wanted to tell you guys i'm a new swifty okay like very recent 
I got into Taylor Swift because I'm like, she is actually the queen of our generation. But I've had Taylor Swift's music on repeat, which is new for me and I'm obsessed with it. And currently my favorite album is Folklore. I have also turned my boyfriend into a Swifty. I literally have like 20 minutes until noon. So I do have time to finish my reel. I edit my reels on Splice. So I already have the whole reel edited. I'm just gonna add captions to it. Hey guys, the reel is up. Go like it if you haven't. Let's make some lunch because it's noon and Notion said lunch at noon. to say I'm pretty impressed. I wouldn't have thought to make this for lunch. AI suggested that I do a like shrimp, quinoa, tomato salad, um, only for me to realize I don't have tomatoes. So this is what we're working with and it's basically the same thing. I did air fried shrimp, quinoa, avocado, and a little slice of a lime. While I eat this, I'm also gonna put on YouTube because it says it's my break time. right now which means it's technically like work block two and for here it says that I should do secondary tasks so I guess the things that like are a little bit less important so I'm going to get outfit of the day content for Instagram but I'm with Renee now you're like attached to the thing so I can't show you we're in his Jeep it's a new car there's a little bit of drama in this backstory um, if you had seen my story he got a truck a few months ago his brand new truck and then within a few weeks um, someone totaled it and smashed into him so this second new car has been a long time coming and I'm obsessed with it it's a Jeep and I've always wanted a Jeep so I'm just like living in case you're wondering why this looks different it's because it's obviously not my car I, think I found something it's super simple it's like concrete but I wanted something kind of like that since this clothing is like vintage-esque. That did not work. We're gonna try something else. Now it is supposed to be I think relaxing time. Let's check in with the schedule I got home at like 5 30 and then started cleaning and tidying up as I make an absolute train wreck when I'm filming I'm just like throwing stuff everywhere AI I think because it doesn't have hunger cues says that I should have dinner at 5 30 So we're just gonna eat when I'm hungry. That's the only thing I'm gonna change 5 30 on I'm supposed to spend time with friends or engage in a hobby. I think I'm just gonna engage in a hobby and my hobby is lying on my bed and watching YouTube and reading. I have my books here. 
This is the book that I am currently reading, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm on chapter 27. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so obsessed with it so far. I totally get the five-star reviews that I've heard about this book. It's giving me more like mystery than thriller, I would say. So far, I have to say, I'm really liking the pacing of the day, except for the morning. The morning was like ridiculously jam-packed. The pacing of the work blocks has been so helpful for me. And then, guys, look at the cutest thing that I just downloaded. I downloaded this coloring page from this like girl's store called Bobby Goods and it's so cute and she makes the cutest little illustrations. So I'm gonna color it on my iPad while I sit here and watch YouTube. I have a little snack plate here, cheese cubes, blueberries. This is cozy, this feels good. Perfect after a long day, the moment when you get to just chill and do whatever you want to do. This makes everything else worth it. Wouldn't you agree like when you get to lay down and do what you want? Alright guys, it's like 7.30 right now and I'm getting hungry, but I decided earlier since today was kind of intense, it was definitely jam-packed, that I would just like order food delivery. I never really do DoorDash and it's like always a treat for myself when I do it. I obviously have to ask AI what I should eat. What takeout should I get for dinner? I'm gonna ask that. It can't provide a suggestion. I'm gonna put best takeout dinner. <laughs> It's like, I can't do that. Should we ask a different AI? I think Snapchat has AI that you can like actually talk to. I'm gonna put pick my takeout dinner. Sure, how about some delicious pizza for your takeout dinner? It's a classic choice and always satisfying. Thanks. Oh my God, it's so weird. Okay, I'm gonna get off of that because I'm scared of it. I am so so down for pizza and i think i'm doing what is on the schedule which is nothing and i love it how should i recover at the end of the day it's recommended to wind down with a relaxing activity such as reading or taking a bath that's exactly what we're doing so apparently this is very good for my well-being and efficiency we were so on it today. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like almost everything is crossed out. The only things that aren't crossed out are edit a reel, which I can literally do in the morning and organize some content, but it's fine because Instagram doesn't want to promote my content anyways. I accidentally got my account flagged for review because, or flagged for suspicious activity because I forgot my password too many times and someone was like also trying to log into my account. It was just, it was a mess. I feel so squeaky clean now. Just gonna do some nighttime skincare. added snail mucin back into my skincare routine and I absolutely love it. What a day, am I right? What a long freaking day. Notion had suggested that I, that I should plan my day for tomorrow. So before I forget, this is the absolute last productive thing I'm gonna do because I'm very tired. Just short, but It'll be helpful for the morning. Back to reading. I'm on page 263, by the way. I haven't even talked about this. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. I can totally see the hype around this book. It's basically about this girl named Pip who is a senior in high school and for her capstone project, she decides to re-examine a murder case that happened five years prior and it was between this girl named andy bell who was murdered by her boyfriend sal but then a day later he killed himself and there's like a whole mystery surrounding it and the whole book is basically pip diving into that and kind of re-examining everything and questioning everything and seeing what is actually true what actually happened if you like pretty little liars i think you would love this book andy gives me so much 
like Allison De Laurentiis vibes. She's the girl that got killed five years ago. Um, when Pip starts like re-examining her life, we find out that Andy had secrets and she had older boyfriends and she had all of these things that she was hiding and we don't know what they are, but it reminds me so much of Allison De Laurentiis from Pretty Little Liars. Like she is that character and I love it. And I'm just loving the entire thing. It's so PLL. And you know how like in Pretty Little Liars, the girls were like always investigating instead of like ever at school. Like that kind of reminds me about like what's happening with Pip. I will give you my thoughts when I finish it though. Um, but so far it's a really good read. Okay, dinner's here. I got from all these and I got a cauliflower crust pizza. So that way it's not like so heavy and honestly I enjoy it because it's so crispy and I just put my own toppings on it. it looks so good I'm so excited to eat this I truly appreciate AI's suggestion for pizza just ate dinner and it was so good i'm so satisfied and full and i could just fall asleep right here right now the only thing left is 10 p.m go to bed so the fact that it's 10 12 right now means that we're just on time okay i'm gonna read my bible and then i'm gonna go to sleep and yeah that's pretty much it for this video i feel like my day was super productive and i actually really liked the structure of it i mean it was just fun to test it out i did it so you don't have to and i hope it was entertaining i would just say that the timestamps were a bit off but besides that the whole layout and structure of the day was actually so helpful if you like the fun like vlog challenges like this i love filming them um, make sure to like and subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram. Um, but until next time, I love you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you so soon in my next video.